As parents, we want to do everything we can to keep our children healthy, but sometimes they might need a little extra help in the form of pediatric surgery. It sounds daunting, right? But don't worry, today, we're here to shed light on some common pediatric surgical procedures. We'll explain what they are, why they're needed, and how they can help your child get back to their playful self. Let's venture into this journey of knowledge and understanding together. Are you ready to go beyond the band-aid? One common pediatric surgical condition is an inguinal hernia. This happens when a part of the intestine pushes through a weak spot in the abdominal wall, creating a noticeable bulge. It's like when a balloon squeezes out of a small hole in a net. It can be uncomfortable and sometimes painful. Thankfully, doctors can fix this with a surgical procedure that pushes the intestine back and strengthens the abdominal wall. Surgery can help correct this and prevent future complications. Another common issue is an umbilical hernia. This happens when the muscles around a child's belly button, or umbilicus, don't seal up completely after birth, leading to a noticeable bulge. It's nothing to panic about, as many of these close on their own by the age of five. However, if it doesn't, or if it causes discomfort or other complications, a simple surgical procedure can correct it. This procedure is usually safe and effective, and it can help to make your little one's life more comfortable. Undescended testicles occur when one or both testicles haven't moved down into the scrotum from the abdomen by the time a baby is born. This condition is not uncommon, and generally it resolves itself within a few months of birth. However, if it doesn't, it might necessitate surgery to move the testicle into the scrotum. Why? Because the testicles need to be in the cooler environment of the scrotum for proper development. Early diagnosis and treatment are key in preventing future issues. Appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix, a small organ attached to the large intestine. It's like having a tiny firecracker in your belly, causing intense pain that can be hard to ignore. Symptoms may include a loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, and a fever. In children, these signs might be subtle, but they're crucial to catch early. The good news is, once diagnosed, surgeons can perform an appendectomy to remove the inflamed appendix. Appendicitis is a sudden emergency, and immediate surgery is often necessary. Tonsillitis is a common infection of the tonsils, the two pads of tissue at the back of the throat. It's usually caused by a viral or bacterial infection, leading to symptoms such as a sore throat, difficulty swallowing and fever. If your child has recurrent tonsillitis, or if it's causing complications like sleep apnea, a tonsillectomy might be recommended. This surgical procedure involves the removal of the tonsils, helping to prevent future infections. In severe cases, surgery can provide much needed relief. Pediatric surgery can help your child heal and get back to being a kid. From repairing inguinal hernias and umbilical hernias, to treating undescended testicles, appendicitis, and even tonsillitis, these common procedures are designed with your child's well-being in mind. Remember, these surgeries are performed by skilled pediatric surgeons with your child's best interests at heart. If you have any concerns about your child's health, don't hesitate to talk to your pediatrician. Early diagnosis and treatment can make a big difference.